This is your boy James over at Expecto Go bringing you guys the latest and greatest Stay with this Unite content. And tonight, we're here to talk about that feature that was just announced via the new trailer from Harry Potter Wizards Unite. What the memos, what the notes, what the trailers from some of your favorite WooTubers has been leading up to. You guys know what it is. Adversaries coming soon. Hashtag soon in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over the basics in regards to uh, what they are, what it means, and uh, break it down based off the information we have right now in game that you can find in your device. So if you guys are looking into more content like this, please consider subscribing to Expecto Go. Here you're beginning all the latest and greatest from WB and Niantic around this game, Harry Potter Wizards Unite. And when the feature drops, be sure to have your notifications rung because we're going to drop it when it drops for you guys. So that out the way, let's dive right on into the details. All right, so what are adversaries in Harry Potter Wizards Unite? Well, all we have to go off of is the trailer and some images. But if you have the Harry Potter Wizards Unite official guidebook released when the game released back in 2019, it has a designated section describing the adversaries. And it reads, tucked away at the far right, actually, end of the challenge registry, four special sections combined to form the adversary registry. Uh, these are included here because we can only speculate about how and when the foes will appear. So even then they were teasing about this feature coming soon in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. And those four sections underneath the challenge registry um, are Voldemort's army, Death Eaters, Hogwarts villains, and ancient dragons. Now remember, this book came out before Adventure Sync was released, before the Night Bus feature was released, even before the SOS training was released. So what's so cool is this could change. This could change in regards to uh, where we might find them. So uh, just keep a lookout, but this is the basic information we have in regards to what adversaries are. Now, if you want to look at what adversaries we will go against, just use that trailer that they just dropped. They featured about 10 plus uh, posters featuring some of your favorite villains from the Harry Potter Wizarding World. And uh, what's so fun is we have some of those posters in game right now. If you go into your ch uh, registry and click on the bottom where it says challenges and again go all the way to the right you'll see two green logos in the top right and those are going to be your specific adversaries registry sections but even over under the hogwarts villains the first one umbridge which everybody wants to fight um going down we also have draco and um, Aragog the big spider so uh, you can even see in game right now in your game uh, the posters featuring some of the adversaries coming in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Alright so in regards to adversaries uh, what do we know based off of the information we have now? Well what we know now is they're going to be giving us some form of the new currency in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. How do I know that? If you go into your SOS uh, training and at the very top beside training you see an eye icon for information scroll over it reads restricted books uh, field guides ministry manuals data books are used to learn lessons in SOS training they are earned by returning foundables placing images and defeating adversaries so we do know adversaries will be giving us some form of currency uh, once defeated what they are we don't know yet it will be tough so tough if it was data books like that is what uh, holding a lot of people back from progressing in the SOS skill tree so if that's the case, yo, that's even more excitement of getting this feature just off of that alone. Next, you can find every series in your challenge registry, which a lot of people have been tying to is going to be fortress foes. Now, this could change. This might be something new. Again, this is information we have. Things could change. But if it stays the same, we might see these foes in Wizarding Challenges, which is going to be very cool. Uh, we have an example of this from the Harrowing Halloween event where we saw the Basilisk, which is one of the posters in the adversaries in the trailer. But it's very exciting to speculate and think about what could happen in regards to this feature. So what can you guys do to get ready for this feature? Honestly, just be patient and wait and maybe not spend so much of your currency because we don't know if we're going to need a new chamber or new skills or uh, lessons or anything. So what I can encourage you guys to do is just wait and see what happens and wait till we get the official information 
from the Harry Potter Wizards Unite team and uh, go from there. But the excitement is real and I cannot wait uh, till it gets here because, yo, it has been hype so far. This week has been hype and uh, it's been so cool sharing this with you guys thus far. And the final piece in regards to the adversaries is story. Um, is there going to be a connection between them? It seems to be based off the um, lead up to this trailer. We got some note pieces and then a memo and dialogue concerning Harry and what's going on and the dreams he's been having and dreading something dark coming. We know this has been the adversaries, but this darkness has been there. Darkness Rising was introduced in October. We also got Dumbledore's army uh, combating another dark surge coming during the brilliant event. And Harry's been sensing something. And then with the reveal of the unforgivable, it seems to be a connection between adversaries and the unforgivable, particularly the line from Lethefold or Barkhouse where they say, bring them back and continue their noble mission. It seems to be a connection there. So will we get more story from the adversaries, not just from brilliant events? We will see, but it seems to be a connection based off of the teasers we've been getting so far. But yo, that's going to be it. That is going to be it in regards to adversaries and what we know so far. Um, if you guys have any other theories or thoughts in regards to uh, this feature, comment below, let me know. And yo, let's talk some Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Get hype. But yo, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching the video and hanging out with your boy. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, if you guys had um, some fun uh, watching, Drop that like. All of that helps when it comes to the YouTube algorithm. So continue smashing the like button. Thank you guys so much for your support. Also, if you have not done so already, subscribe here, here to expect to go. You begin all the latest and greatest Wizards Night content, gameplay, tips, news, updates, uh, the whole shebang. And definitely when the feature drops, you'll know here. Also, follow us on our various forms of social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Of course, Discord, there you'll be hanging out with other witches and wizards who are into Harry Potter Wizards Unite. We have some fun night bus sessions, um, yo, talking strategies, the whole nine. So if you guys are into that, follow us there as well. But yo, I'm gonna get out of here. Have a great weekend. I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time.